This conference will now be recorded. Okay, as you can see that, you know, I have on the screen the managerial accounting cycle. So we're into managerial accounting. Uh, you should have your papers in by now. And as we move into managerial accounting, it's still this equation, assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. And that cycle, and we've been working on a determination of the unit product costs. A lot of our journal entries that follow are based on that. We're next going to journalize entries, post them to the ledger, prepare a trial balance, prepare financial statements. We have two new statements, cost of goods manufactured, and we have the cost of goods uh, sold, along with the regular income statement, statement of return earnings, a balance sheet, and statement of cash flows, and the closing entries. So we do the same thing from financial accounting we're just doing it in managerial accounting. There's various worksheets that I've sent to you, and I guess this is an example. Well, let me just clear this information out. And, and what we're concerned with is we got to be on a unit basis. How much does it cost for one unit? Because we've got to what? We've got to sell an item. And we have to give the item a price. And so for raw materials, assuming it's only one product being produced now, it's raw materials one, two, and three. We multiply unit cost times quantity to get the total cost. Unit cost times quantity to get the total cost. If we had a situation where the cost is allocated to more than one finished goods, such as we buy a large ink cartridge and we can print more than one book, then we divide the total cost by the total product quantity. But we're mainly working with this top area now where the raw materials, several raw materials, the quantities are included in the cost. The direct labor. How much is the labor in one book? If it takes one hour or more to make the product, we multiply. Hold on. I'm sorry, Dr. Boyd. I don't mean to interrupt. You said we, multi we divide the total what by what to get the what what you you talking about here if we had an ink cartridge and we could we pay 50 400 for it and we could print 50 books so in a case like that we're going to divide the 400 by 50 because the ink cartridge is being spread over more than one book but, so to get to get the to total date, but to date we just looked at a ream of paper and two small cartridges that's all we're looking at to date but we can have a situation uh where we got one big ink cartridge and we use it 400 dollars. we use it on 50 books so how much is the cost of an ink cartridge per book it's 400 divided by 50. If that's the case, we didn't we, we didn't use that in any of these examples, but I just wanted to be familiar with both. And we're going to go over those examples in just a second. Our direct labor. We simply, if we can, if it takes more than an hour to make it, we're going to multiply. If it takes, if we can make more than one an hour, we have divide to get the unit cost. And we'll look at an example to go over that. For the uh, manufacturing overhead for one, we simply said get your total overhead. Mm -hmm. 
and divide it by the quantity to be produced. And that'll give you the unit cost for the overhead. To get the total cost, we just simply add all these up together. We simply add all of those up together. But in what the in the quiz we just did, there wasn't a total like books or whatever trying to be manufactured. Yeah, I was wondering, are you on the quiz we just did, or is something else? Can you do that? We want to see that. I'm simply going over the framework, and then we're gonna go over the quiz. But I'm just trying to go over the oh. framework that we're working with. Then we're going to the quiz. And then we have, I guess, 11. We have to get selling price. And what's our selling price going to be? What's selling price going to be? Unit cost times SP multiple. I'm just laying the framework, then we're gonna come back and fill it in. We determine overhead rate. We look at the total overhead. We look at the total quantity to be produced. Then the labor productivity rate. We need the total hours needed to make the item. We're gonna multiply if it takes more than one hour to make the item. Are we gonna divide if it can take more than one hour to produce an item? Line one divided by line four gives us the POR. So this is the framework that you can use. Let's look at our first example. In the first example, you said there were three ink cartridges at 20, four at 10, five at one. The direct labor rate was $20 and we could produce 10 in an hour. The estimated manufacturing overhead was 300,000. The selling price multiple was three and the quantity to be made was 100,000. So you have all the information you needed. So let's look at this first scenario. So in the first scenario, one, raw material one, what was it? Raw the material. Cost, what, 20? The, the unit cost would be 6.67. All right, let's see if we can get there. The unit cost of the first raw material, each one cost 20. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take three of them. So if you got to buy three things at $20 each, how much are you going to spend? $60. You're going to spend $60. The next raw mature was four at 10. So they cost 10. You've got to buy four of them to make your product. How much you spending? $40. Is it $40? $40. Then for the next raw material, they cost one, but you need five of them. I should have put 25. That should have been five. Yes. Uh, we don't have any raw materials that spread over more than one, so this situation doesn't play. So we're going to add up all these raw materials, and how much do we get for the raw material cost? 95. How much? 105. 100. Yeah, 105 sounds a little better. 105, okay. Damn, I thought I missed it. I do miss that. <sighs> Direct labor. The labor rate was $20 per hour. And we can make 10 an hour. So if you pay $20 for 10 things, how much does each one cost? $2. Two. Thank you, $2. Where did you get the 10 from? Right there, $10 per hour. 
I mean, ten, production, 10 per hour, right there. Direct labor production, 10. Rate, 20. So you're buying 10 hours at $20 an hour. That's two. Manufacturing overhead. We're going to use our simple method. And in our simple method, we do what? Divide. Divide. Get the overhead. Divide 300,000 by 100,000. Yep. Okay, well, if you got, if I got the total, if I got the total cost wrong for the raw materials, that's just going to throw the whole problem off wrong. You know, I, really I guess do. so. So when we add up all the raw materials, how much is it? 110. 110. What's our selling price going to be? Three times. 330. 330. So if you got the, if you got the raw materials wrong, now your selling price is wrong. Right. So the whole thing is wrong. Oh, how do you I mean, get 110? We add 105, the raw materials, two for the labor, and three for the overhead. Professor Bard, I was really looking for the uh, the little um, word problem. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't expecting those numbers like that. They kind of threw me off. You mean to have you in an accounting class and you didn't expect numbers? <laughs> I was looking for that word problem. <laughs> Like we learned in class, and you put up put uh, the little numbers like that. And I was like, "What? What is going on?" Like I was looking for what I learned in class. Okay. How, how many points is this worth, Doctor Boyd? Because I got my selling price wrong, which is going to throw the whole problem off wrong. My raw, my total cost, and my well, raw material. Why don't we just concentrate on learning it? So when you retake it, you can get it right then. So, but um, I want. Many points is worth. Something got a sunk cost. Are you gonna put this um recorded on YouTube so we can look at it later? It's, on it's being it's recorded that. now. It'll be on YouTube. What's on then YouTube? You need... From this his, uh, I believe on it was his summer class. Is on there. The summer class is already on. Yeah, I saw that. Semester. Yeah. So there are plenty of recordings that are already there covering everything we're doing. And of course, the current recording I put in. We need a predetermined overhead rate because we're going to need this in a journal entry. So I gave you this table to calculate it. We put the total overhead. How much is the total overhead? 300000 What's the quantity? A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. So that's three. So don't you divide it? Yes. The labor productivity is we said ten, ten. right? So mm -hmm. how many hours yes. don't take them to make it? Ten thousand. Yeah, because you gotta make ten in an hour. So the estimated yeah. hours is 10,000. So your POR is what? 30. 30. Damn. Yep. Got it? Yes. I probably have it tomorrow. And why was it timed? Don't you work? Aren't you required to do things at work? Yes, but I just, you know, I'm teaching folks how to do hair and all of that. You know, my little job is, it's fluff, but you know, <laughs> I'm like, wow. And then it's time too. I was like trying to watch, look at my notes and make sure, and I just ran out of time. I've submitted. When I, when I, so. I since you got your notes and you see these numbers now, when you get quizzed on Tuesday, you're not going to have a problem, right? Or any excuses, right? And you're going to get here on time. So the quiz on Tuesday going to replace the quiz for today? If need be. Huh? How, many people got this? how many people got the first one right? 
I, I, I got it. Yeah, delete. You might as well delete that submission. <laughs> I got mine right. I got it right. I'm I'm happy. Happy. <laughs> All right. Well, keep the I people that got right. their hundred. Keep the people that got their hundred. Right. Delete my submission. I know that's right. Keep mine. Keep mine on there. <laughs> keep mine too. All right, let's look at scenario two. So in scenario two, we have two at 20, two at 10, and three at five. So can y'all calculate the raw materials cost? Yes, it's 40. That's easy. Yes. That's elementary. It's that other little Oh, that's elementary. <laughs> oh, so raw material. Okay, so it's gone. I'm not going all the way back in here, but 40 for the first one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what? 20 for the next 20. one? Right. And then what? Five. 15 for the last one. See, I thought we divide. I, I thought, I, Professor Walter, I thought we divide that if it's like a rate. Like if you're trying we to. to wait. We're talking about unit costs. We aren't to rates yet. Oh, you had unit cost. Oh, cost. Oh, okay. How much are the raw materials? Two at 20, five. three at five. Total. So what's our total? 75. 75. Yeah, I got that. Material. That's 75. I think I may have put that mess in the wrong area. All right. How much is the labor on this one? It's going to be 45. Why is it 45? You multiply. It'll take you three hours. Three hours times 15 is 45. Any questions? See, I set up my I set up my little table that I was using wrong. I forgot to put something there, and that's why. Oh, so it wasn't nothing wrong with my instructions. Because I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Did you did you have a template? We had to make our own template, and I think I missed. I, I didn't. This, this put template everything. is in uh, course content, and you got to Excel. So why, you why did you multiply this time? If you work three hours. At fifteen dollars an hour, how much money right. you want? If you work three hours and you pay fifteen dollars an hour, how much money you want? Five dollars? No. You want five dollars? No. All right then. So you multiply. So you got to think. Is it a situation where? You know, I've got, uh, I can make more than one an hour. I can make 10 per hour, 10 per hour. I'm the buy. If it takes more than an hour, it's taking me three hours, I'm multiplying. So you got to just get that, you know, in your head in terms of how you come up with the labor. If it's can 10 you per hour, you can make more than one in an hour, you divide. If it takes more than an hour to make them, you multiply. Right. So and I think I messed up because I didn't I didn't I think I messed up because I didn't use the template. Because in class you said that we can make our own little table and do it how we want to, and that's what I did. And then also I was looking for the actual word problem. So, Dr. Quiz, quiz was just like a, a like a, a workout, or is this actually graded? Yeah, it's graded. Uh, Which okay. I, did good on the, I did okay on this one. I did okay on the second one. What were you saying, Dr. Boyd? You got it in that blackboard, so you got to grade it to see how you're doing. You don't want me to grade it? No, because I messed up on my selling on the well let's just the, finish this one so you won't mess up next time all right and there won't be any excuses next time okay now, so the quiz, 
No, 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 let's just finish this. What is the manufacturing overhead? So you're talking, what's the unit manufacturing overhead? Tell me that if you want. How much? Five. 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 We five. simply going to do what? Divide the total overhead five by the quantity. It's going to be five. Five. Yeah. So what is our total cost in this case? 125. 125. 125. What's our selling price going to be? 500. I'll, I'll model this four, so it's going to be 500. Now, can we get the POR in this situation? What's the first thing that goes in there? The MOH. Oh, MOH, how much is it? 500,000. Oh, the quantity to be produced? 100,000. Our labor productivity is what? Three. How many hours is it going to take them to make these products if it takes three hours per? 300,000. 300,000 hours. It's going to take 300,000 hours because it takes you three hours on each one. So what is my POR? I got 1.67. 1.67. 1.67. 1. 1. 1. I've got some smart people in here. So y'all got this one right? Yes. Yes. Two, yeah. two, two so far. All right. So that's all we're going to do today on that. So probably at the end of class next time, I'll do some retesting. So if you messed up, you can just plan to uh, do some more after class tomorrow on Tuesday. If you got them all right, then you, you don't have to be on that part of the class. And it won't be any excuses because what? We went over it and it looked just like this. And then... You got some more in his practice on. And it sure is going to be a shame if I give you one of these that's already in here, you mess up. Wouldn't that be a shame? <laughs> if I pull one of these out here and tell you to do it and you mess up, that'd be pitiful, wouldn't it? Very pitiful. This but I wish you don't have any word. The what? Any word problem. Word problem. Yes, because like the ones we was practicing, they give you a whole little scenario. All right. So you got these to practice. You got to be able to do them all. Words and no words. I'm not. I don't know what these words y'all talking about. But I'll see. I, <laughs> I was trying to keep. It you know what? I could. I I could have got them right, but you know what I did? I didn't use the template because I was like, "Is there a template?" In class, I asked, "Was there a template?" And you said, well, you can what use what you want to use one. if you want to create your table. And I created a table, and what I did was I forgot to put, I think I think I forgot to put the unit cost or something. Y'all want to read some words, you're saying, huh? Y'all want to read. Yeah. I don't. I'm not I don't a math buff. I don't. We could keep it simple. Just like I'm, not, I'm not a math buff. But I can read my answer. POR for the last one we just did was 1.67. I think it was 1.67. When is our midterm? It won't be next week, but I'll the week after that. Unless y'all want it next week. Next no, week. I do. The spring break. The what? Y'all ain't got the no week. spring break. What are you talking about spring break? We do have spring break. No, you I don't. Know, Doctor. You don't have a spring break this year. So we don't have a midterm then. <laughs> I think some of y'all might need a midterm. Or something. All right. Step two. Making journal entries, the managerial accounting cycle, journal entries. 
what I've done is to break these journal entries up into stages. And the journal entries, so Ms. Williams like to read, so I got a lot of reading here. In stage one, we acquire those raw materials. Now we're getting ready to make some, make 10,000, 100,000. Then we got to transfer the raw materials to the production floor. Then we got to transfer the cost of the completed goods to finished goods. Then we got to sell them. Then we got to pay selling administrative expenses plus dividend. So we got pictures and words. When you buy the raw material, see these raw materials, you make the entry, everything raw materials and crediting accounts payable. These are the raw materials. This is the journal entry you make. You just simply got to calculate the amount. The journal entry is always on stage one is always going to be this. In stage two, that's when we make the good. So they're making something. There are three journal entries, at least. One journal entry is to put the raw materials uh, on the production floor. See here, they're in the storage warehouse. So when you move them to the production floor to be made, then you make a journal entry, death and work in process and crediting raw materials inventory because you've moved the raw materials uh, to the uh, production floor. And you make this journal entry for however many raw materials you got. So if you had three, you'd have to make this journal entry three times, but this is what the journal entry looks like. Then you got to pay these workers and they want money. So you're going to debit work and process and credit cash because you're paying the workers. Then, uh, you got to put in, estimate your overhead. So the overhead, see all this stuff around, you know, the machines, the taxes, the light utilities, all this stuff, all of this other stuff, other than the raw materials and the workers, that's overhead. And that's part of the cost. So all three costs are made. So these are the journal entries. They always look like this. It just be maybe more than one when we have more than one raw materials. Now, when we get the item finished, we got another journal entry. We debit finished goods inventory and credit work and process inventory. That's our goal. Our goal is not to buy those raw materials and have them on the production floor. Our goal is to make them and get them in finished goods. So we debit finished goods and credit raw materials inventory. After we do that, we sell them. Put some food in here. Got, the, got some big eaters in here like Jacobs, you see. So, uh, so when we sell an item, two things are involved. We got to make a journal entry to sell it. Debit account receivable cash and credit sales. Then we've got to take the cost out of finished goods and put it in cost of goods sold because we've sold the item. We sold the item. Then we estimate the overhead and we'll talk about this next time. But sometime we have to apply that overhead. And then all those journal entries we made in principles one, paying selling expenses, administrative expenses, and dividends. That comes next. Here's our chart of accounts. You don't just go around creating numbers. We got the chart of accounts here. And we'll look at this example next time. We'll look at this example next time. Let's see if I have a... Okay, we'll be working with a job order costing template, a job order costing template. So you can see we have here, and and as we work a problem, you only got one scenario, okay? You don't have two or three, you just have one. So this is the scenario. So you can, you can begin to practice on this with those problems if you want to use Excel. And here's one that's more word-oriented, okay. like what we did, yeah, like what we did. You can use either call. one. Then we 
mocking me like that? Is that Andre? Yeah, just you can turn your microphone off, please. Okay. Now, you should have the spreadsheet in course content. You should have the spreadsheet in course content on the job all the coffee. This is a spreadsheet you use. And you know, these are some journal entries here. But no, they are the journal, you know, the accounts are already here. In stage one, you debiting raw materials and crediting accounts payable for however many it is. Now, this is, you know, uh, other stage one, starting the company, buying equipment and stuff. But the uh, manufacturing entries are already made. You just got to put the amounts in. Then in stage two, where you, you know, where we're making the item, hit a, hit a journal entry, debit working process and credit raw materials. And most times we're gonna have at least two raw material. We gotta make this entry twice, just like we buy it twice. So it's at least two raw materials. Typically, we're working with this book, paper, and ink. So then, in our next journal entry, once we finish the items, we move them from finished goods to working process. From working process to finished goods. Then in stage four, we sell them get out cash or whatever and then we take the cost out and stage five we're paying those uh general administrative expenses Excuse here's the professor Bullock, i yes. purchased the book is this in the book i purchased the book the spreadsheet is, this is not in the book so this but is I'm an saying, excel spreadsheet i know but i'm saying the information for this uh, chapter Information, yes, all information is in there. Okay. But I'm just going over the spreadsheet that you're going to use to work your problem so that. Class for the end. So you're going to go over this next time too? Or you're going to upload this? On yes, Brother Spoon, we're going to go over it next time too. Okay. But here are the T accounts. These are the two new things you got to make. We're just reviewing it. And you got to do a trial balance and everything. So I'm showing you, you know, when we get ready to work a problem, when you get ready to take your midterm, you're going to complete the spreadsheet. So you need to practice on it. Let me see. Now, here's what we have. We got the simple problem here. We're going to review this next time. And then for 10 points, you're going to have an assignment on the spreadsheet. So the first part of it is determine selling price, cost, selling price, and POR. And I'm going to let you volunteer for your poison in terms of what you're going to do. Then you got we got the acquisition stage, the production stage, the finished goods stage, the sale of finished goods stage, the selling and administrative expense stage we gotta make all those journal entries and so we'll go over this and go over this again next time then on next thursday you all will be making the journal entry you'll have an assignment and whatever your assignment is worth is worth 10 points so yeah then we're gonna pull this together then everybody has to pull in this this problem on this spreadsheet we're going to go over it, but as we're going over it, you've got to put it on spreadsheet. Any questions? So then I have about a question next, about yeah. the assignment. About what? I have a question, but it's not about what you just went over. Not about what we just went over. What's your question about? I was just going to say I emailed you like the other day, but I never got a response. I get emails all the time. And so I respond. And I'll go over the emails tomorrow. I get emails when I'm in class and people expect me to answer. <laughs> so I'm not that good. 
But I'll look at, if you got an email, I'll look at it uh, and, and we'll go through it. So I will probably work on those on Friday and Saturday and I'll get back to you then. Any other questions? So when we get here on Tuesday, you need to be here on time, no more missing, no more late. We're gonna go through the same material and you will get your assignment, your 10 point assignment on what you have to do on Thursday. So that quiz today was worth 10 points. On a redo, I may make it worth seven at the end of the class next time. But you have to work faster next time, so you have plenty of time today. So what you need to do is to practice. You need to go and practice on those problems that are in there. Got it? So you can do it in 15 minutes, five minutes per scenario. Are we clear? So at five o'clock on Tuesday, the retakers will start retaking and they have 15 minutes. 15 minutes to do the exact same type of uh, cost, unit cost problem? Yes, Townsend. Can you handle it? Yes, sir. Um, my last question is, dang, you made me forget my, oh, can you show the POR again? Can you pull that back in front of your shared screen again? The POR. Are we gonna have to do that? Us retakers yes. or no? Yes. All right. Can you pull that back up for me, please? I'm trying to see if I can get to it. Uh -huh. And we'll learn next time where that POR goes. Now you should have this handout in course content, I believe. Check to see if so it's means, there. So that means we don't we don't go to class on Tuesday. What do you mean you don't go to, go to class? So that means we, be, we're going to be doing it virtually. Yeah, we got to do. Oh, I have to coordinate it with the principals one class. You, you know, you all saw what happened last time when I tried to, you know, do yeah, it. Yeah, that camp. everybody got COVID, so you converting back to online for the remaining. So, so, so we know, go back we, to class we on go Tuesday. Through, we're going to go through next week like this, and then we'll make a decision. After okay. when we we're in the classroom, even though the uh, projector was not working, I thought we had a very good class on our last class period. Professor Boy, can you scroll up to when you, when she done with that POR? Okay. So, so we on log the POR, in. total overhead. So so we we'll look at it and see, and a bit be a sense of what y'all where y'all think y'all can learn best at, and whether y'all gonna so come to campus. So the so problem we log is. So do we log in on Tuesday? Yes. Yeah, log in on Tuesday. I'm asking log Professor Barnes, ma'am. Okay. Everybody log asking, in on Tuesday. I'm asking the professor. Don't 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 even go there, okay? I'm not I'm, I'm not talking. I'm not the woman. I'm talking. I'm talking to I, that young lady. That's right. saying yes. Yeah. A question and you keep talking over him. Come on, come on, okay, come on. Let's let's get along. Let's let's get along. She better because she don't this, know. I'm not here. Come on, okay. Let's let's try to get this done. Let's let's keep cool. Here's the POR. This is how it looks. Total overhead. You're given that. Total quantity. Then you put this productivity number in. Then you got to get your hours. If it takes more than one hour, you multiply. If you can make more than one item in an hour, you divide. It's just like what you did when you got the unit cost for labor. You either multiplying or dividing with this number. Once you get your total hours, line one divided by line four gives us the POR. Okay? But you said if it takes more than one hour, then you multiply. multiply. Yeah, it took three hours. So if you got a hundred thousand things to make, you got three hours per. It's gonna take three hundred thousand. We were dividing. We're gonna divide three hundred thousand in the five hundred to get the POR. If you could make ten items in an hour, it wouldn't take you hundred thousand hours. You'd be expected to do that in ten thousand hours. So we would divide if. So suppose you could make 10 per hour. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Then you would divide into the hundred because it would only take you 10,000 hours. So same thing, three hours, multiply. 10 per hour, divide. Now we're gonna divide this 10,000 into the 500,000. So what's our PR in that case? Three. What's the PR you said divide be in this 3, case? You said uh, divide 1,000 into 300,000? Divide one by line four. Line one divided by How much is that? Is that two? Line one divided by line four. 1.67. Oh, goodness. 500,000 divided by 10,000. Line one divided by line four. Here we divided 500 by 300 and we got 1.67. Here we're going to divide 500. 50 sound like a good number. It's going to be 50. Yeah. 50? Yes. Don't make it hard. In one case, you multiply because it took more than one hour to make it and you divide it. In the other case, you divide it, the 100,000, by the, the 10 because you can make 10 in an hour. And the total hours is 10,000. Whatever you get on line four, you divide that into line one. Line one divided by line four. Are we clear on the POR chart now? What was the other question that we needed to look at? I just wanted you to scroll up so I can um, see how you got the, yeah, all of that, yeah. Thank you. So what do you want to see now? I just wanted to see how you had it in the template. Yeah, I just wanted, I'm just going to take a picture of this so I can put it in my template. So next time when I retake it, I, I just need a mental picture note. And this template should be in course content, I hope. Just you know, somebody check and see if a it manager is. or one account attack of spring 2022 is in there. It, it is in there. there. All right, then. So you got it. I said I was looking at the numbers in it. I got the template. Oh, okay. You look at the okay. I just just take it. Okay. So all the thing that's happening, those numbers are gonna change. You got to think a little bit. So the retest, okay, thank you. I got it. All right. The retest is at 5 o'clock on Tuesday. You will get your assignment. Yes. Is there any way you can give us some practice problems and actually put like the answers in there so that we can try to come up and com compare our answers with the correct answers that you provide? That would be I easy will too. put the answers in for this quiz. Yes, to do that. Thank you, Audrey. Okay. You're welcome. Because sometimes you'll be working and you'll be like, well, did I get it right? Did I get it right? And you want some type of reference to see if you actually got it correct. I'm going to put so the solution for all of those in there. And Dr. Okay. Boyd, do, yes, you want to do, a do you want to do a tutorial with us? When? You tell us. That would be very Monday. helpful. Monday. That's fine. At what time? What What time works for you all? You tell us, Doctor Boyd. Four, We're five, here. or six. Four, five, or six. What works? Five is good. Five. We'll have a tutorial at five. On Monday. Wait, can we do six? I get off work at six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, six is fine. Dr. Board, is that okay with you? That's, that's okay with me. Six o'clock. Okay. Monday. Uh, online, right here, right? Go to meeting. Online, right here. Somebody email me to remind me. 
I'm gonna email you right now to remind you. So when you I'm check on email Saturday, you, I'm gonna email you know. Monday. Oh uh, no, that that ain't gonna work. I can't. I'm too old to think that long. <laughs> I got to email me on Monday. <laughs> okay, I email you Monday, Doctor Boy, at five fifteen to remind you. No, nah, you better email me around midday. Okay. I'm going to set this in, and we probably will make that 6 o'clock a permanent type of uh, tutoring time. Thank you. So probably on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6, we'll do tutoring. Thank you. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Y'all going to have to go to Specs and get an expensive bottle of wine for me when we get back, <laughs> when we get back to camera. I don't want no cheap uh, bottle, Audrey. I don't want a cheap bottle now. <laughs> Man, I don't want no cheap bottle. Well, what kind you want? We'll get you some Stella Rose. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> you want some, um, what's that, Morgan Davy? <laughs> Oh man, I, I, I see how much. What can you, what, what can you see, want, Professor? We'll talk about that later. I'm just talking. But uh, <laughs> no, you know we're gonna do what it takes to make. If you're here, I'm still committed to you passing. So now some of y'all are not here, and some of you coming late. But if you come in here and you participate, uh, and Man and Williams are doing a good job of that, whether we're uh, on campus out here, then you know I'm committed to making sure they pass. Yeah, you know, but for some of y'all who have showing up and everything, then I'm not sympathetic. So I'm just letting you know right now. When Jacobs comes, you know, so you can pass if you come. Got it? Got it. That's my commitment. You what come, you got your screen on, you working and doing your work. I'm gonna make sure you pass. Well, thank you. Okay, so some people, I'm just saying the people who I'm who I know who's showing up and everything, they're gonna pass. But I don't know you. I don't know your face. I had never seen you. Then I don't feel, you know, I'm not sympathetic. But if somebody, if you've done your part, I'm gonna do my part. See, that's not, that's my commitment. So let's be here. Have those cameras on on. Uh, Tuesday, you know, Monday, you know, it's various, but six o'clock, we're going to have tutoring from now on, on Mondays and Wednesdays at six, unless I got a conflict. Y'all have a good weekend. I'm going to try to have a nice weekend too and rest a little bit because I'll be doing a lot of grading. I won't have much grading to do this weekend since y'all messed up. So <laughs> uh, I got, I know I, I know I got all mine's right. You got all your right, Demontre? That yes, sounds good. That sounds good. See, so Demontre got them all right. You know that mean, don't you? Yeah, ain't Demontre. I know, right? Everybody else got to get them all right. But it's good. We got to have questions. Doing what he's supposed to be doing. We like that, right? Right, ladies. Yes, we, we like, do. Yeah, we like black men who doing what they supposed to be doing. All right, so we will see you on Monday at 6 o'clock. The same number and everything. Okay. And what Thank we're you, Dr. Do, Boy. Yeah, Thank and you. And what we're going to do is work those problems. Okay. We're going to work, work problems. So That'll work. Uh, by Tuesday, you should be ready. I'm ready. All right, anything else we'll get to calls? If not, you all have a good, pleasant weekend. Work, do some homework. We'll see you all Monday at six. Okay. Have a good I email you. All right. Yeah. My God. Um. So you said in class Tuesday that if we, you know, we pass, we get the ten points towards the things that we miss, right? We still right. getting those yep. points. Okay. Yep. You're getting those points too. All right. That's my only question. I right, just remind me of it, but I'm that's the plan. I'll but email see, you. Uh, but see, most people not get any points. <laughs> but I need seem like they would have when they with with a double opportunity. It seemed like they would have done something, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank so, you, though. Email remind me, and I'll put those in. Y'all have a good one. All right, you too. 
Hi.